I came over, I told her my tilt was a parking. I'd like to look of packing crates, a household in preparation for a journey. Depresses some people, but for me it is another feeling. Something full of the flow of life. Do you understand? Movement, progress. It makes me think of Africa. Africa? <laughs> what kind of mood is this? Have I told you how deeply you move me? He gave away the money, Asagai. Who gave away what money? The insurance money. My brother gave it away. Gave it away? He made an investment with a man even Travis wouldn't have trusted with his most worn out marbles. And it's gone? Gone. Ah, I'm very sorry. And you now? Me? Me? Me, I'm nothing, me. Uh, uh, uh. When I was very small, we used to take our sleds out in the winter time. And the only hills we had were some ice-covered stone steps down the street. And we would fill them with snow and make them smooth and slide down them all day. And it was very dangerous, you know, far too steep. And sure enough, one day this kid named Rufus came down too fast and hit the sidewalk and his face just split open right there in front of us. I remember standing there looking at his bloody open face thinking that was the end of Rufus. The ambulance came, and they took him to the hospital, and they fixed the broken bones, and they sewed it all up. And the next time I saw Rufus, he just had this little line down the middle of his face. I never got over that. What? That that was what one human being could do for another. Fix him up, sew up the problem, and make him all right again. But that was the most marvelous thing in the world. I wanted to do that. He used to be so important to me. I always thought it was the one concrete thing in the world that a human being could do. You know, fix up the sick and make them whole again. This was truly being God. And you wanted to be God? No, I, I wanted to cure. I wanted to cure. I used to care. I mean, about people and how their bodies hurt. And you stopped caring? Yes, I Why? think so. Because it doesn't seem deep enough close enough to what ails mankind. It was a child's way of seeing things, or an idealist. Children see things very well sometimes, and idealists even better. I know that's what you think, because you are still where I left off. You still care. You, with all your talk and dreams about Africa. You still think you can patch up the world, cure the great sore of colonialism with the penicillin of independence. Yes. Independence and then what? What about all the crooks and thieves and just plain idiots who will come into power to steal and plunder the same as before, only now they will be black and do it in the name of the new independence. What about them? That will be a problem for another time. First, we must get there. And where does it end? End? Whoever spoke of an end to life, to living? An end to misery, to stupidity. Don't you see, Asagai, there is no real progress. There is just one large circle that we march in, around and around, each of us with our own little picture in front of us, our own little mirage that we think is the future. That is a mistake. What? What you just said about a circle. It isn't a circle. It is simply a long line, as in geometry, you know? One that curves into infinity. And because we cannot see how it ends, we also cannot see how it changes. And it is very odd, but those who see the changes, who will not give up, are called idealists, and those who only see the circle, they call each other the realists. Asagai, while I was sleeping in that bed in there, people went out and took the future right out of my hands. Nobody asked me, they just went out and changed my life. Was it your money? What? Was it your money he gave away? It belonged to all of us. But did you earn it? Would you have had it at all if your father had not died? Then isn't there something wrong in a house, in a world where all dreams, good or bad, must depend on the death of a man? I never thought to see you like this, Elio. You, you talk about what good is trouble, what good is anything, where are we going and why are we all bothered? Then you cannot answer it! I need the answer! In my village back home, it is the exceptional man who can read a book or who even sees a newspaper at all. 
I will go home and much of what I will have to say will seem strange to the people of my village. But I will work and things will happen slowly and swiftly. At times it will seem that nothing changes at all. And then again, the sudden dramatic event will make history leap into the future. And then quiet again. Retrogression, even gone, the murder, revolution. And I will wonder if the quiet was better than all that debt and hatred. But I will look about my village and I will not wander long. Perhaps I shall hold on to the substance of truth, and perhaps for it I will be butchered in my bed some night by the servants of the empire. The martyr. Or perhaps I shall live to be a very old man, respected and esteemed in my new nation. <laughs> or perhaps I shall hold office, and this is what I'm trying to tell you. A lie. Perhaps it means I will work for my country will be wrong and outmoded, and I will have to do terrible things to have things my way, or merely to keep my power. Don't you see that there will be young men and women, not British soldiers, but my own black countrymen that will come in some night and slit in my useless throat? Don't you see that they always have been there? That they always will be, and that such a thing as my own death will be in advance, actually replenishing all that I was? The loss of that I know of. Good. Then stop moaning and groaning and tell me what you plan to do. Do? I have a bit of a suggestion. What? That when it is all over, that you come home with me. Oh, Asadai, at this moment you decide to be romantic. Oh, my <laughs> dear young creature of the new world, I do not mean across the city. I mean across the ocean. Home. To Africa. To Africa? Yes. Three hundred years later, the African prince rose up on the seas and swept the maiden back across the little passage over which our ancestors had come. To, to Nigeria? Yes, Nigeria. Home. I will show you our mountains and our stars and give you cool drinks from gods and teach you the old songs and the ways of our people. And in time, we will pretend that you have only been away for a day. Say so you'll come. You're getting me all mixed up. Why? Too many things. Too much has happened today. I don't know what I feel about anything. I'm just going to sit a while and think. All right. I shall leave you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get up. Just sit a while and think. Never be afraid to sit a while and think. How often have I looked at you and said, ah, so this is what a new world had finally wrought. <laughs> <laughs>